Oh my god. Oh my gosh, it's it's absolutely enormous. Yeah. It's it's actually it's actually an enormous elephant! Yeah, that's what we're drawing today. So grab something to draw with and something to color with and let's make some art. This episode is brought to you by ArtasticKids.com. If you're a parent, guardian, homeschool family, or a classroom teacher looking for art lessons and resources, begin your journey by finding free art lessons, tips, advice, and more at ArtasticKids.com. All right, we are going to be doing the enormous elephant, yes. And you're thinking, well, aren't all elephants enormous? You are right. They are enormous, but this one is legit. Too legit to quit. Enormous. It's that big. Okay, grab something to draw with. Whatever you feel like, you do you. I don't draw with that, because otherwise you can't see it. All right, grab something to draw with. Here we go. Making it up on the spot, guys. As usual, this is how we do it here. Okay, big curving line, like that. And a second one that comes down. Okay, goes up, over, like that. Ba -da -da -da. Tip of the trunk. We'll have its mouth peeking out, so underneath. So we're gonna draw a curving line on either side. Curving lines on the trunk. We're gonna draw two curving lines above on the head. Below each one, we're gonna draw a circle. In each circle, we're gonna draw one more bigger circle and a smaller circle. And then you can color in the dark of the eyes, leaving just those circles nice and white. Around the eyes, use a finer tip of your marker or mark maker. And just add some curving lines for some added texture. And we'll have our tongue peeking out on the inside of the mouth here with just a curving line. So that way you can go ahead and color in the dark of the mouth, leaving just your tongue white. And I just like to add a little U on either end of the mouth for the corners of the mouth. All right, we got to make it more elephant-like. So we're going to draw a nice big curving sh line or shape on the top of the head. And two lines down part way, just peeking out here on either side. We'll draw some ears kind of cascading over on either side. And then we'll have the body just peeking out on the back here. I'm, going to, I'm cutting off this on the bottom here intentionally. So we'll draw a curving line in the back here. We'll just draw a tail way over in the distance with two curving lines. We'll add the tip. All right, so we got kind of like a half an elephant here, and you're thinking, how, how is this enormous? Well, this is where proportion comes in. So when things are in proportion, the sizes make sense to one another, right? So if my, my pen mat fits in my hand, right? But if my pen was like giant and big, it would be out of proportion. It'd be too big for my hand. It wouldn't make sense. It would look weird because why is this, either the pen's really big or my hand's really small or something, right? It doesn't make sense. So what we're gonna do is to make this look big, we're gonna use proportion and add things in here that make this look enormous, right? Cause it's an enorm enormous elephant. So we're gonna add some buildings in the front here, the cityscape, and they are going to be 
smaller than the elephant. It's kind of like Honey Eye blew up the kids, but elephant version. Okay, so you can add your buildings. You can add maybe some trees way down here. I'm a tree and I'm really small. See, now when you add do this, maybe there's like people like, oh, hi, I'm a person. We can hardly tell what they look like because they're so small and everything else is so big. See, now we got proportion helping us make this elephant look enormous. Okay, you can go ahead and finish adding all your own choice details to your crazy enormous elephant design. And then once you're done, you can go ahead and color it in using your favorite art making mediums.
And once you're done with your elephant, your enormous elephant is done.